crypto slow, cryptocurrency news and investing. Crypto slow with more crypto gains. What's going on guys? Happy Monday. I'll tell you what, I can't wait to get back in the gym. Oh my gosh. I'll tell you what, this holiday weekend, um, starting in the middle of the week, holy crap, I've done nothing but eat and not go to the gym. <laughs> it was the wrong kind of gains. It was crypto gains, but not gym gains. So uh, be sure to get your gym gains on today to uh, get back on track. Anyways, uh, title of today's video, the blockchain has the last word. So really interesting article this morning. Um, it was part three of the Craig Wright um, climate um, debacle about, um, if you're not familiar with it, basically, you know, Craig Wright's claiming that he's Satoshi Nakamoto. And let me, I don't want to screw this up because um, it is actually really complicated. But anyways, the two um, people, actors, um, Wright and Kleiman, basically, supposedly, um, started this defense corporation. And, you know, obviously Craig is claiming that he invented Bitcoin. And then they mined these Bitcoins. So there's basically, purportedly, one million Bitcoin that are locked up in this trust. And you're like, the trust, the tool of trust. And then it's got like, you know, nine billion layers of security on it. Well, you know, as everybody knows, Kleiman passed. And what is that question is, who owns the estate of these one million Bitcoins? Um, well, supposedly, like I said, they're locked up. Now, the, the point I was trying to get at with all this is, it goes to a thing called a DAO, a Digital Autonomous Corporation. And you're like, DAO? Um, and what's really cool and interesting about this is basically they're saying that the trust was created in this Digital Autonomous Corporation, which is basically a set of rules and guidelines of the corporation and the trust Put on the blockchain so ultimately there is no human interaction with this trust because it's it's automatic it can't be turned off you know basically they're fighting over these assets and I'm like dude I don't, I don't even have them they're locked up in this trust so what's interesting about this is that we think about this you know how like a lot of times someone passes and then everyone swoops in and they're fighting over assets. What if wills were created on the blockchain and they're immutable, unchangeable, um, undeniable, and the blockchain executes the will and, you know, the people receive their, um, their property? You know, it's very interesting. And the thing is, nobody can stop or shut that down. I mean, theoretically, the only way you could stop that blockchain from executing its code would be to shut down the entire internet, which I'm not saying that's not possible, but is it probable? No. But, you know, this is that this is that interesting concept of of a machine that's running that can't be turned off, even if it, it even if it breaks the law, um, even if it is immoral, um, it really it's 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 exempt from all that. The code only knows one thing, and that is to run, um, and that's kind of what blockchain does. And if you step back and really start thinking about that, you know. You know, part of the reason Bitcoin has gotten to where it has gotten is because it can't be turned off. It can't be turned off. So, really think about that. And think about the, you know, things that could happen in the future. Things that could be put on the blockchain 
where you could take third party entities out and the blockchain would do the work. And that, my friend, is what is so special about crypto. And once people understand that, um, you know, it's more efficient, you know, it's unchangeable and, you know, it just goes. So, you know, it's something really deep to think about. And once you understand that, that blockchain technology, you'll understand why I'm such a believer in crypto and why I try to bring the word and mass adoption to people so that you can be in on early on the technology and, um, you know, be a generation or two ahead of everybody else, you know, when they adopt, um, and you'll be an early adopter. You'll be sitting in a very good position because you'll understand it. Um, you know, you maybe have taught your kids some things about blockchain, maybe installed a wallet on their phone, given them a little Tron to play with, you know, um, because they're going to be teaching this stuff in schools. Um, you know, the next generation of jobs will be blockchain. Um, it's going to be very, very interesting to see how this unfolds. But that is today's thought. Think about that blockchain and think about it, that it can't be turned off and what ramifications that has in the future for society. And it's really interesting. But anyways, hope you have a great day. Get in that gym, get those gains on. This is Crypto Slow. If you're not talking gains, then we're not talking.